sometimes you listen to things and you think, I've only really had one idea in my life. And I've just been doing it in a hundred different ways ever since. That's a sort of slightly depressing thought. But then you, you can remind yourself that that was also true of Samuel Beckett um, and Miles Davis <laughs> and a few other people. I think one of the things that art offers you is the chance to surrender, the chance to not be in control any longer. Now, if you think about it, most in our culture, most of the encouragement is to take control. What we like doing, and that's the reason we enjoy sex, drugs, art, and religion, what we like doing is surrendering. They're really all ways of losing me. They're ways of losing yourself. One of the things I want music to do is to offer people the chance to surrender. Everything good proceeds from enthusiasm. The sense of, I really want to know how this turns out, will drive you on through many, many long nights of no results. Um, whereas the feeling of, I think I ought to do this, dries up very quickly. The, the big mistake is to wait for inspiration. It won't, it won't come looking for you. It's not so much creating something, I think, it's, it's noticing when something is starting to happen. And noticing it and then building on it and saying, okay, that's new. That hasn't happened before. What does it mean? Where can I go with it? I, I often think that artists divide into um, the musical Oklahoma, the farmer and the cowboy. So the farmer is the guy who finds a piece of territory stakes it up and digs it and cultivates it and grows the land. Um, the cowboy is the one who goes out and finds new territories. I, I rather think of myself as the cowboy, really, than the farmer. Um, I like the thrill of being somewhere where I know nobody else has been, even if it's quite trivial, you know, it's only art. It's not very important, but <laughs> nonetheless, I like the feeling of standing looking at something that nobody else has ever seen before. Obviously, there's an inequality of opportunities among people. Some people do have more opportunities than others. But there's also an inequality of readiness. Some people are more ready to make use of the opportunities than, that come up than others. Now, I, I studied painting, and this was in the 60s, at the time when pop music was becoming very, very interesting. And this new technology was coming into existence, the recording studio. I was fascinated by it. Partly, I think, because recording was a way of painting with sound. Similarly, new instruments were appearing, the synthesizer, which had no history. There was no correct way of playing synthesizers. So I got in early. I could play it any way I wanted. I didn't have to go and learn how to play synthesizer, but it was a choice. You know, I could have decided to learn the drums. And God knows what would have happened then. <laughs> Another bad drummer in the world. I remember meeting somebody from a German electronic band, Who Shall Remain Nameless, and he said, um, he said, I am after the perfect sine wave. And the interesting thing is that the least interesting sound in the universe, probably, is the perfect sine wave. It's the sound of nothing happening. It's the sound of perfection. And it's boring, you know. <laughs> As David Byrne said in his song, heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. Distortion is character, basically. In fact, everything we call character is the deviation from perfection. So perfection to me is characterlessness.